Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie, and today we are looking at fall clothing from White Fox Boutique. Yes, that's right, I can hear the Australians screaming. They're saying, what did she just say? Did she just say fall? Yes, this is a fall haul. The whole fall clothing try-on haul thing seems to be trending on uh, YouTube at the moment, and despite the fact that it is actually spring in Australia, for the sake of clicks and views, this is a fall try-on haul from White Fox Boutique. Now, to give you an idea of the temperature here in Australia, it is actually 23 degrees Celsius, which is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I put on my detective hat and took to Google and asked, what is the temperature in California? Why California? Because that's where the YouTubers are, I guess. <laughs> Looking at the temperature in California, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit today, which is 26 degrees Celsius. So it's actually three degrees warmer in California than it is in Sydney. So the Sydney spring is similar to the Californian fall. What's another state? L let's say Michigan. Why? Because there's a university there and I have it written on a t-shirt. Sorry, what? It's seven degrees Celsius in Michigan. 45 degrees Fahrenheit? There's that much of a difference in temperature between California and Michigan? Sorry, when people post fall try-on hauls, is there a very broad definition of fall in America? Because fall in California is like summer compared to Michigan. Anyway, the clothes that I have picked from White Fox Boutique today are probably still Michigan weather appropriate. They are most certainly California appropriate, but I reckon they're Michigan appropriate too, because I tried to go for styles that are longer sleeves, warmer materials, thicker fabrics, and uh, that's something that White Fox specializes in, I would say. If you don't know about White Fox Boutique, White Fox is an Australian brand. They are seriously one of my favorite brands. I did a video with them last month. It was the first time that I worked with them. They sponsored a video of mine and they sent me a huge amount of clothing and I was like, I couldn't comprehend how nice the stuff was. It was too nice. Like, I, I feel unworthy. Anyway, they liked my video last time and they asked me if I wanted to work with them again this month. And I was like, oh, yes, please. These days I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious about the items that I choose because I want to make sure that I'm getting things that I'm 100% going to wear because I don't want things sitting around in my wardrobe for a long time. I will sometimes pick things that I know I'm going to give this to someone. So for example, there's a jacket today that I'm going to give to my friend Grace because I know she's been looking for one for a very long time. And when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, She's gonna die. She's actually, uh, that would not be nice of me to give it to her because I would no longer have her as a friend because she would just spontaneously combust. Anyway, so White Fox is a very trendy brand. They stock White Fox Active and White Fox Swim. I tried some pieces from White Fox Active in my last video and I have hereby dubbed it as White Fox Garden because I wear those clothes gardening every day. Every day I'm literally on my hands and knees in the dirt out there pulling up weeds and digging in hydrangeas and things. And I'm, I'm wearing White Fox Active <laughs> because it's so comfortable and breathable, easy to wear, looks nice too, but most of all, comfort. I now understand why there are girls that live in active wear. Cause in the past I was like, I see these girls on Instagram wearing nothing but shorts and a crop top and wandering around the airport. As if that's comfortable. When you're wearing White Fox Active, it's comfortable. <laughs> so I got some more pieces from White Fox Active. I'm wearing, the leggings, the best leggings in the world. Oh, and I, I, I have to say this now. This being a sponsored video, I know that there's some people that watch content on YouTube and they go, oh, it's a sponsored video. So what she's saying is altered in some way because she's being paid. But I, I promise you now, I would rather poke my own eyes out with a fork than mislead people purely for the sake of a sponsorship. Everything I tell you, whether I love something or I don't like something, it's not influenced by the fact that it's a sponsorship. I would do this video for free. I would go out and pay for these things myself because I love the brand. It's just a bonus is for me as a creator that they actually want to pay me to make this video but that doesn't influence me in any way at all I promise you and when I say that these are the best leggings ever and if you're looking for a good pair of black leggings that you can wear with anything that aren't sheer in any way at all that you can squat in and you don't have to worry these pants they're amazing. Anyway, thank you so much, White Fox, for wanting to work with me again. If you guys like anything that you see in today's video you can use the code pretty pastel to get 15% off and I would, I would recommend that you use my White Fox coupon code because uh, it's a more expensive brand. Uh, the price is completely justified because the quality is amazing. But with that 15% off, it might take some of those items that are sort of that little bit out of your budget. It makes them that 
bit more affordable and uh, I'm gonna show you some things today that I know that you're gonna want so bad because my friend Lucy actually posted a video about White Fox recently and I watched it and I ended up getting three of the things that she showed in her video because she looked so nice in them. <laughs> and uh, so I'll be showing you those. So if you wanna see what they look like on two different body shapes, you can also check out Lucy's video too. But uh, yeah, anyway, the fact that I saw those things and I wanted them, I reckon you guys will see them and you'll want them too. So you can use my uh, White Fox discount code. It's pretty pastel for 15% off. And if you do decide to buy something from White Fox, uh, they have express shipping worldwide. So you don't have to wait long for your goodies. So with that, let's start this uh, White Fox Boutique fall try on haul. And uh, we're gonna start off with the top that I'm wearing right now. So this is called the Who We Are two-piece crop in butter. This is a $70 two-piece set. And it looked really, really beautiful in the pictures. And I, I knew I had to have it. The only thing is, now that I'm wearing it, I kind of wish that I'd gone one size up. I ordered this in an extra small and it's fitting me really nicely. It's very snug, but also the little bralette, I don't know, is a little bit too little. Like I'm looking at the picture of the model and maybe it's because she's wearing very high-waisted jeans. Maybe I should put on some jeans. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I feel like if I'd gone one size up, I'd maybe just have that little bit tiny more room and it wouldn't feel so small, but it's very, very comfortable. It's so soft. It's a ribbed knitted fabric. Knowing now that uh, fall in Michigan is seven degrees Celsius, 40 something degrees Fahrenheit, this is probably not an appropriate fall top. But if you're in California, <laughs> You can go down to Starbucks wearing this, no problem. You won't be cold. <laughs> oh, Archie! Ow, 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 ow. Because it's spring here, hormones. Hormonal Mr. Bird. I'm gonna go give Archie some lunch and then we're, we're gonna film this video without him because he's just full of rage. Wonderful. Ah, the joys of bird ownership. People have been getting upset with me lately because Archie hasn't been in all of my videos. The bird stays, but the bird also annihilates decimates, reefs destruction everywhere he goes. I think we've got a, a few more months of this behavior to get through uh, before we make it out the other side and he's a friendly bird again. <laughs> but hey, on the plus side, I get to use these unicorn band-aids that I got in Japan. <laughs> yes, I'm 28 years old. No, that doesn't stop me from using unicorn band-aids. What are you talking about? <laughs> so like I was saying, this is a beautiful two-piece set with lovely long sleeves. To me, $70 is a little bit much. I understand why it's that price because it feels so nice. It's very good quality. The fabric's really, really thick and super comfy. And uh, it's a two-piece set as well. You're not just getting one thing, you're getting two. Now the model is wearing it with a pair of jeans and I did finally get a pair of jeans from White Fox. These are the Who's That Girl straight leg denim jeans in washed blue. These are $80 for very nice, beautiful denim jeans. I don't know how they're gonna look on me. White Fox has a lot of jeans and they all look really, really nice, but most of them were sold out. <laughs> I really, I so badly wanted to get three or four pairs of jeans, but I, I literally, I couldn't. So this isn't necessarily the style that I would have picked primarily as my choice, but I thought, look, I, I should just get whatever I can so that I can review the quality of the denim. And let me tell you this, it's actually been quite a while since I've had real denim jeans. I posted a video recently where I bought a bunch of jeans and most of them were like stretchy elastane kind of material. They, they look like jeans, but they're not actually denim. These are actual jeans and it's kind of like, oh, that's right. That's what jeans feel like. I'd almost forgotten. It's been so long. I'm a little bit nervous that they're going to be too small because the waist, it looks very, very small. It's fine. It's fine. I got them on. Oh, they're really nice. They're so comfy. The waist is actually really good. The zip is so long that I was able to open them up really, really wide to get my hips into them. Also, check this out. Not only do I have new hair, I have a new backdrop, kind of. It's, it's all the same stuff I had before, but I've just reorganized it. This is not a style that I would normally ever wear. I wouldn't have picked these, but they're actually really cool. They're, they're I find that rolling jeans up makes them look 10 times more stylish. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but it's just that little final touch that sort of brings it all together. I do have a pair of shoes that I'm gonna try these on with. These are the Sweet Talker Mules in white. These ones are $90 and they're really nice quality. They're very heavy, very solid heel, like very, very solid heel. You see how wide it is? It's very stable. 
and it's also not too high. So it gives you that little bit of height and makes you feel a little bit more put together without feeling precariously balanced. And I really like the square toe. I never used to be into square toed heels, but I actually think it's very, very cool. I don't mind the shoes with these jeans. I think they look cool, but I think that I'm gonna need to put on a different top. Hear me out here. This is uh, going to sound crazy to anyone that lives in Michigan. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what are you putting a crop top in a fall hole for? I had to get this two piece set. In my last video, I got this set in mocha. This is the Keep Me Close Bustier in white. And these are the Satisfy Me pants. Now in mocha, I loved it. And I loved it so much that I said that I had to get it in other colors. So my thought process is because I'm wearing the white shoes, I wanna put on a white top. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got this in white. I like it so much better than the mocha. Nothing against the mocha, the mocha was cool. But the white, it's so cool. Oh my God, and it looks so nice with this uh, necklace that I'm wearing. This is also from White Fox. This is the locked up necklace. It's $35 and it's a very, very heavy, solid necklace. This top has silver eyelets and buckles on the straps and it just, oh, it ties in so well with this. Oh, it's so cool with the necklace and oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Am I an Insta baddie or what? Even with the white band-aids, it really completes it. <laughs> this top is so cool. It's got uh, boning in it, so it holds its structure really well. I quite like these styles that sort of come up a little bit at the sides and then they come down a bit lower here. The boning means that you feel nice and sort of cinched in and it also makes you stand up a bit straighter if you're someone that uses your computer like, like I do. When you've got a little bit of boning in it, it kind of helps you to keep proper posture. So additional points for that. I really like this combination of the white top with the white heels. I know, you're saying, this is not fall appropriate, I'm going to be cold. Well, the good thing about crop tops, you know what it is, guys? You can wear things over them. Uh, for example, this ridiculously soft, absolutely delightful knit sweater or turtleneck, maybe. It's not quite a turtleneck. Uh, this is called the She Rooms Knit in Sage and it's a $70 top and it's delightful. It's so soft. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, this color, sage, that is all the rage. Sage is all the rage right now. And I knew I had to have it. It's probably one of the softest tops from any haul video that I've uploaded. It's so comfortable. It's got this slit in the side of it here, which I couldn't see in the pictures of the model. She's kind of standing, like holding it, like she's scratching her tummy. I couldn't tell that it had a slit in the side of it. I feel like that could possibly be a problem if you're very, very cold and the wind might kind of get up there. So let me see if it tucks in. All right, I have good news for you. It does indeed tuck in. It's long enough to tuck into my jeans and I've actually left the back of it out because I thought that, that could be trendy and fun. <laughs> this is so cool. I really like this. This really very soft sage color because sometimes I've seen sage vary from any, anywhere from like a, a very light grayish kind of green to kind of like a, a deep green. But this, I would almost call this mint. I, I don't want to be pedantic about my shade names, but I would almost call this mint more so than sage. But this color looks really, really nice with the light blue denim and with the white shoes and with the silver necklace. And I, I put this outfit together. I didn't copy it off a model, which I'm always guilty of doing, seeing a picture on the website and being like, that styled by a professional, I'll wear it like that. No, I styled this one. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up on this video if you're proud of the fact that Alex has finally, finally, after all these years, learned to style herself. <laughs> I love this top so much. It's so comfortable. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna leave in this, but I won't because it's only gonna get hotter from today onwards. Every day from this point is spiraling closer and closer toward bushfire season in Australia. It's a very hot time, so I, I won't be living in this top. But as soon as the weather cools off, I, I, I will be living in this top. Now, let's try on the pants that came with the top because I feel like the white should look quite nice with this green sweater. The reason that I liked these pants so much last time when I got them in mocha is because they're a little bit stretchy. They fit really, really nicely and they're very long. I always struggle to find pants that are long enough for my legs. Always better to have longer pants and take them up than to have not enough fabric because you can't just manifest fabric into existence. I really liked the length. 
and I really liked how they were high-waisted and the little details here it's just at the attention to detail you know these are $70 pants and uh, the bustier is $60 so 130 Australian dollars for this two-piece set and if you like the look of it and you want to splurge and get it you won't be disappointed because they're just so nice the only thing that I'm nervous about I always struggle with white pants because they're always sheer they're always sheer these hmm let's let's see oh my god oh my god oh, these are so cool they're so cool oh my god okay so these are the mocha ones that i got in my last video and yes i really really liked them i liked them so much that i wanted to get them in another color and now that i have them in another color the white ones are so so cool they're so cool they are a little bit sheer they are like it's probably inevitable with white pants i would say i don't think that there's any getting around that you can kind of see the line of my undies here and i tucked the green top in and you can actually can you see i, I don't know if it'll come up on camera but you can actually see the green like straight through them so that they're, they're a little bit sheer but being sheer wouldn't put me off wearing them it just means that you've got to think through what you're going to wear underneath but rolling the sleeves up on this and wearing the white with the white shoes and all the silver details the fact that i've got the silver necklace on and there's the silver buckles here i'm living look at these pants look at them look oh my god that to me they are the perfect ratio of flair we all know that i love a good extreme flair like send me to the 70s i love a big flair but that being said this is a really good proportion because it sort of tucks in here and it comes down to the knee and then it tapers out and just proportionately it's almost like it's almost like an hourglass because this proportion here i would say is not massively bigger than up here so it's like like this and then whoop, and, oh, duh, i love the proportions let me give a ted talk on the proportion of long flared pants i could lecture you for hours i will spare you though because you can see you can see how good they look i don't need to lecture you you can see it <laughs> oh my god i love them i'm gonna wear these so much i'm gonna wear them so much ah! <laughs> while it gets colder for those of you in the northern hemisphere it's warming up for us down under so you know what that means it's getting a bit hot is it well that's fine just do take this off and we have ourselves an amazing two-piece set do i need to explain do i do do you need me to tell you how cool this is <laughs> You know, this is one, one of those rare instances when my self-esteem goes up. <laughs> I don't have particularly high self-esteem uh, and I normally compare myself to other people and I'm like, wow, she's so beautiful, why can't I be like that? The model of Jess Hunt was wearing this and I was like, oh, Jess looks amazing. I really want to get that. Well, you know what? I look that good too, damn it. Yeah, I look good in this. Thank you. All right, I am back in the jeans again to show you guys this top. Now, I actually got this for my friend Grace because when I saw it on the website, I was like, that's the jacket that Grace has been looking for her whole life. I know it is. I'm gonna be able to see my friends again soon. So the first time that I see Grace after so many, many months apart, I'm gonna present her with this jacket. This is called the Wild Ride Biker Jacket in chocolate. This also came in black. This is 130 Australian dollars and worth every cent. If you've been looking for a good biker jacket, this, oh my God, okay. The, the only thing it's got going against it, which isn't a bad thing at all, the, the only downside is it's really heavy. Like this jacket weighs more than my dog does <laughs> because it's so solid. Like it's got this really, really thick, super thick fluffy layer in here. This is a PU leather on the outside. And it's also got these like, heavy kind of buckle details on it. And it's just, oh my God, this is such a nice jacket. This isn't my style. I don't wear these sorts of clothes, but Grace does, Grace does. Oh, you know what? The model's wearing sunglasses, hang on. I didn't get sunglasses as part of this video, but I got these ones last time from White Fox. What's that like? Do I look like a rock and roll superstar? Do I look like I belong in California? No, oh, it's so cool. The model's got a hand, on a, th she's kind of 
Wait, no, hang on. No, I'm doing this wrong. This is amazing. It's amazing. It's also very, very long. Oh my God, look, this is a size small to medium. Look how long it is. Comes all the way down here. Let's zip it up. Whoa, the zip is so chunky. Oh my God. Wow, the zip is huge. Look at it. <laughs> that was a little bit hard to zip up because there's so much fluff on the inside that the fluff was like sticking out, getting in the way of the zipper. But now that it's done up, does it have pockets? Oh, thank God, thank God. I would have hit the roof. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Grace, I know you're watching this right now. I'm terribly sorry that I did not find this for you sooner when the weather was cold. <laughs> you will probably have to bench this one until at least June or July when the weather gets cooler here. But until then, you can probably just hang it on the wardrobe and just sit on your bed every day and just look at it, or maybe like serenade it with a guitar. Sitting on the couch doesn't do this justice. I have to show you the full thing. Ugh, not my style, but I could convince myself that this is indeed my new style. Now, speaking of my style, the past two years have turned me into a loungewear fanatic. And when my friend Lucy posted her white box video, she got this outfit. This is the Hear Me Out crop top in mint and the line it up pants in mint. And when I saw Lucy wearing this, I was like, my God, someone get that woman a martini and a mansion. Stat. The top is $70 and the pants are $90. And the top, it's got these beautiful sort of flared sleeves that actually have like a little tie up detail on them there. I have been wearing this for a a while. This parcel arrived to me uh, last week or the week before or whatever it was and I like ripped the box open and I was like where is the loungewear? Give it to me now! You know what? Now that I have this I could quite happily never wear any other clothing again for the rest of my life. This is comfortable, stylish, a joy to touch because it's really unusual, very very soft fabric and I feel opulent. Look how long the pants are. They are dragging on the ground which is Probably my only criticism of it that I can't wear it outside. I walk around the house and I don't care if the pants drag on the ground because the floor is clean and everything, but I have had a couple of times where I've gone to go out and water my plants outside and I've just like put on a pair of flip flops and then I've stepped out the door and I've thought, oh no, they're gonna get dirty and muddy. So I've just kind of like hiked them up and then gone to water my plants. <laughs> if I put on heels, then everything is fine. They just don't touch the ground. They're like just a, a millimeter off the ground. But that being said, I, I wouldn't be wearing heels with this because to me, this is loungewear. This is a lounge around the house and contemplate the circumstances of my husband's mysterious death. But this has kind of become like my editing uniform. Like I have to sit down with a, with a cup of tea or a hot chocolate to edit a video. And I'm like, I'm, I'm putting on the white fox clothes. That I'm, I'm putting on that set. If I'm gonna get things done today, I'm gonna do it wearing those clothes because they're so comfortable and I look so good that I feel so productive and motivated and I just wanna live my best life. And I know it's ridiculous to feel so excited about a piece of clothing, but this is probably some of my all time favorite pieces of clothing I've ever owned. And if you want to feel opulent and relaxed as well, then pick these up. You're gonna love them. All right, another thing I got that I am head over heels in love with is this top. I'm obsessed with sweaters that have a little V-shaped zip on them like this. I don't know what you call this style. Uh, maybe the name of it will tell me. High standard zip front sweater in grey merle. Zip front sweater. Well, there, there you go, a zip front sweater. <laughs> I suppose that's what they're called. I, I love them so much. They're just effortlessly cool. This is an $80 sweater. And when I tell you it's got chocolate on it. You know what that is? That Milo, that's Milo. When I was editing yesterday's video, I, I put 10 tablespoons of Milo in a cup and a teaspoon of milk and a, somehow got it all over myself. When I tell you this is worth every cent, I wholeheartedly mean that. This is ridiculously nice. This, I, I almost feel like out of everything I've talked about so far and maybe everything that's coming up too, this is the one I would say, if you're gonna buy like one thing from this video, get one of these. Like this is perfect for fall, winter, it's, so warm and so cozy and this, the fact that it's sort of like a, a low V, look, look how stylish it is. You can chuck a necklace on with it. it oh, the model looks really, really cool in her outfit. She's actually wearing black leggings, 
let me do that. And here it is with some black leggings. Do I look like the picture? Do I look as cool as her? With my coffee cup, I'm ready to go get a pumpkin spiced latte all the way over in America because our Starbucks doesn't sell pumpkin spiced anything. I love this. I want it in every color. Something else that I wanted in every color were these pants because these White Fox Active leggings are so stupidly comfortable and like I said I wear them all the time and because I do wear these sort of things a lot and I get them dirty a lot because I'm, I'm always in the garden uh, in case you guys haven't gathered I, I've in recent months just become a horticulturalist <laughs> Every day I'm outside tending to my tomatoes and cucumbers and eggplants and zucchinis and pumpkins and I'm always getting dirty and I thought because I really thoroughly enjoy going out and gardening in the White Fox active clothing, I need to get some more of it. So I got these leggings. Now <laughs> these are dirty because this morning I was out in the garden wearing these. There's a bit of dirt on them there. There's a lot of dirt on the knees because I was kneeling down and because I had to film this video today I just I didn't have time to wash them. So they don't actually look like that. They, they don't come like that. You gotta pay extra for the dirt. This is the Miles Ahead Seamless Crop Top in Blue Merle. This is $70 for this and it looks very small. Look, look how teeny tiny it is. But I, I know, I trust because this ribbed uh, athletic wear fabric that White Fox makes, it's so stretchy and form fitting and thick and nice and very excited about this one. The only thing is in the pictures, it kind of looks a little bit more pastel. This is like a rich sky blue, but the pictures look like a baby blue. That's the only difference. The leggings are, I believe they're exactly the same as these black ones that I'm wearing. They're the same style. They've got this kind of interesting ribbed pattern and then around the bum, it doesn't have the ribbing. It, like I think it's supposed to help to shape you. So the pants are $80 and I definitely think they're worth it. Look how high-waisted they are. I love high-waisted leggings. These come up so high and they've got a really nice thick band around the waist. With the grey it looks really nice but look at the top. I feel like vlogilates right now. I am so ready for a yoga class. You have no idea. Maybe not. This is doing incredible things for my waist <laughs> because the band is so thick that it's actually kind of cinching my waist more so than my waist really is but not in an uncomfortable way because it's very stretchy fabric and it's super comfy. Oh I've got this trick where if I stand on a certain angle I can make my butt look like I squat. Yeah, like I said, you can see it, it's it's all covered in dirt because I've been like, I've been digging things, picking up weeds and sitting on the ground with my chickens. But that's the reason that I say that this is worth the amount that they charge for it. Some people might look at it and think it's a bit much money for a pair of leggings, but it's not only nice quality leggings, it's the fact that they make me feel so good that I want to wear them. And when I'm wearing them, I want to be productive. Another amazing bonus, there's thumb holes in the sleeves. If that's not the best thing that you could ask for in fall or winter, thumb holes on your long thick sleeves, I don't know what is. Okay, so something else that I got because Lucy showed it in her video was this set here. I have wanted this sweater for a very long time. My friend Yinny, who is really big into fitness and exercise, she basically lives in clothes like White Fox Active and she has this and it's very famous online. Lots of Instagrammers wear this sweater and I wanted it for years, but it's $70 this sweater and outside of YouTube and outside of getting clothing for free or making content and all that sort of thing, when it comes to me as a consumer, actually buying things, paying for things, $70, I was like, oh, it's too much. It's nice, but it's too much. But now that I have it, now that it's here, I can see why it's $70. It's so soft on the inside. It's ridiculously soft. God, if there's one thing White Fox knows how to do, it is to make the softest clothing you've ever worn. This is so cozy. I love it. It's got nice long sleeves. It's very plush, like very, very, very plush. And the pants, when I saw them on Lucy, I was like, they look really oversized. Like they don't just look like sweatpants. They look like they're purposefully oversized sweatpants. And they actually are. They feel, oh, oh. These are just as soft on the inside as the top. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, problem, that there, that's red wine. I, 
I don't know. I swear I wasn't sitting on the couch like this holding a glass and pouring and it splashed. I, I swear. Not me. So these pants are $70 and the top is $70. So it's $140 for the set. And if you use my code, you'll get it for, what's that, like 120 or something like that. Getting something like this for a hundred and something dollars and comparing it to some other things that I've owned that I've bought from other websites, this just blows all of that out of the water. This is just so ridiculously cozy. I don't know about style. Uh, I do low key feel like an avocado, but this is like a staple fall and winter wear to me. A super soft, plush, comfortable sweatsuit. It doesn't get much better than this. You can dress it up, you can put a little handbag and you can, look, if I bring the necklace out and uh, put on some shoes, I'm ready to go to the airport. Catch me lining up in Starbucks like this. I'll do it, I'll do it. Something else that is destined to be stupidly comfortable is this. This is the same sweater as the one that I'm wearing, except this one is in the color sand. It's the best of both worlds sweater. And it's got exactly the same print as this one, the same embroidery. The embroidery is beautiful, by the way. It's really nice embroidery. I knew that this was going to be really, really comfy. And I knew that I was going to get this dirty at some point, whether, whether it was uh, red wine, dirt or chicken poo, I knew that it was going to get dirty. So I was like, you know what? If I have backups, if I've got multiple colors, I will always be comfortable. This one is again, $70. Hello. Hi, what's up? Let's watch the video. <sighs> so sweet. You liked it? Mm, lovely. How are you doing? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Uh, I also got the shorts because Jess was wearing them and she looks so cool. I'm not a massive shorts person, so let's see how this looks. All right, so these are the Along for the Ride lounge shorts and I... I don't know how I feel. I've, I've tried to recreate the look and she looks, she looks so cool. I, I can't, e I can't even. How, how, how does she rock it like that? I, I don't know, I feel like I'm back in school. Like I feel, we had to wear sports uniforms at school here in Australia and I kind of feel like I'm wearing a sports uniform. It's just some, something about the cut of the shorts that makes me feel like that. They're very comfortable. Like they're super, super cozy shorts. And obviously the top is amazing. We, we know I love the top, but I, I just, I don't know. They're really odd. They're so comfy. Something with the high waist and like the sort of wide baggy. This is the only thing. These shorts are the only things that I don't like. They're the only things that I'm not like a hundred percent obsessed with. But the top, the top is amazing. And now for something completely different. Time to look at dresses because last time I made a video with White Fox, I loved their dresses. So I knew I had to try out some more. And the color schemes of some of these dresses, I was like, wow, this is this is right up my alley. There's some things coming up that are ridiculously cool, but I've decided to start off with the most <laughs> risky one. This is bizarre. Look how many different components there are to this. This is the Till Next Time mini dress in blue and this is a $90 dress. You're gonna need to give me 10 minutes to figure out how to get into this. I have no idea but this fabric it's really thick and it's oh my god what is this? I've never seen fabric like this. It's so cool. It's cotton, acrylic and nylon but what's interesting is the way that it's actually knitted. It's like it's so thick and it's ribbed, but it's also like braided. Like each, there's all these little strands that are almost braided. It's just, it's so cool. It's a really unusual crepe knit. Is it crepe knit? Is that what you call it? Anyway, I love it. I love the fabric. I don't know how I'm gonna love the fit of it. I'm nervous. <laughs> all right, this took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out how to get into. I still don't know if I'm in it correctly. I may not be, so forgive me. That's what it's meant to look like. I, I think I'm close, but I, I feel like I've, I've not done something right up here. I kind of feel like it's supposed to be right at the back. Please hold for maintenance. This is really cool. I will give it that. It's, it's very unusual and unique, and I would love to be the sort of person that would have the confidence to wear something like this. Uh, I, I am unfortunately not that person. There's not enough fabric going on here and I don't have enough going on here to kind of keep everything in place. I love the sleeves. Like the, the sleeves are so cool having this cold shoulder. Uh, I feel 
like this around here being so exposed and the back being so so open it's um look there's a style out there for everyone and i know some people are going to love this but this is in fact not my style uh, i've been doing a, a series where i'm clearing out my wardrobe and selling stuff on depop for charity so i think i'll probably list this one because as as much as i like it and as nice as the fabric is and as much as i adore the sleeves I do not have the confidence to wear something like this ever. So this would just be one of those things that would just sit in my wardrobe for forever. And I'd look at it and be like, one day, one day I'll wear that. And in five years time, I'll be like, one day, one day I'll wear that. <laughs> Something that I know I will wear for sure is this dress. Uh, I know that I'll wear it because I've already worn it. I actually wore this in the video where I gave myself the wolf cut, uh, the new hairstyle. If you haven't seen that video, it's this one here. And I was wearing this dress. People didn't realize it was a dress because I only showed myself up to there. And people were like, where is your top from? Where is it from? I need to know. It's amazing. It's from Whitebox. This is called the Tough Choices Mini Dress in Lilac and it's $90. It's got these amazing sleeves. They're like mesh and they've also got a sort of stretchy detail down here that makes it uh, drape in an interesting way. It's got very unusual lines and when I saw it on the model in this picture, I really wanted it but also I was like, I don't like that weird line across the cup. It just looked really odd. But when it's on, it's actually really cool. It's a very interesting detail. All right, I love this dress. I love it. It's so cool. So it zips up all the way at the back and it sort of cinches you in quite nicely. It's got a couple of layers of fabric. It's got the mesh layer and then it's got this really nice thick purple layer underneath. So it's actually not as sheer as I had worried that it would be. That being said, it is still sheer so you just have to be a little bit more conscious about what you wear underneath it but the sleeves oh the sleeves that's what everyone was commenting on in the video about my hair everyone was like the sleeves of your top they're so cool and like i said about the the cup it's got underwire so it's got great support this line this is the weird line that i was like it almost looks as though that line should be under the cup and it looks like it's sort of risen up and it needs to be pulled down. But once you get used to it, it's actually a pretty cool detail. I like that on the sides, you've got these three lines like that, and you've got this same detailing of the sleeves running all the way down the side here. It's just, it's such a cool dress. The only problem is, and it did irk me a lot when I was doing my hair, this bit, it always comes down. It's supposed to sit up over here, but I just, I can't get it to stay. Like every time I move my arms, it just pops down. I wouldn't mind at all if it was just a, a cold shoulder, if this was just, you know, just there, if it was supposed to be like that. But because it's got this fabric that's meant to go over your shoulder, that sits funny. So you can't just let that sort of hang down. If I owned a sewing machine and I knew how to sew, I'd get that sticky rubbery sort of strip thing that you sometimes see that stops clothing from riding up or down and I would put that along here because that's all it needs it just needs this tiny little bit of something to stop it sliding off that or if there was like a ribbon maybe attached here so that there was an anchor point and you could anchor it from here across to here oh that's not a bad idea what if I did that like if if it was like like a bow or a ribbon or something that sort of came across here and just held it up, that's that's not a bad idea actually. If it weren't for this falling down, I would wear this so much. And what I really like about it too, because it's form fitting and it's a really cool top, I reckon I could probably put on a pair of pants with this. Let's just say for argument's sake, I, I, don't, I don't know how this is gonna look, but I really like turning dresses into tops. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, oh my God, I'm onto something. Stop, wait. I'm onto something here. This is so cool. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I don't have to worry about getting cold. If I want to wear this in cool weather, I can turn it into a top. So to all of those people that said to me, where's your top from? Well, you're, it can double as a top. You're right, correct. This is, you know, when I go out for brunch, I'm out with my friends, I'm at the cafe, I'm gonna sit down and eat, and then I wanna go out and party. Not that I party. I would rather die. You know, it was funny in my last White Fox video, I was saying how the reason that I'd never really shopped on White Fox was because their style was 
quite different to my own. I like pastel clothes and a lot of their stuff is like darker colors and insta baddie kind of looks. But when they asked me to do this video with them and I went back on their site, I was like, did, did someone take note? Did someone hear what I said about there's not enough pastels? Because when I opened the site, they had this collection of pastel clothing. This beautiful lilac dress with a little yellow strap. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to try this. So this one is the Reckless Heart mini dress in lilac. This is another $80 dress. Now, it's uh, tied in an interesting way. All right, good news. You don't have to wear it with the weird sort of angle. Good news is it's just got this little loop here and this, you can sort of adjust it as you need to. So if I just kind of pull it a little bit so that it's symmetrical with this side, I can have a, call it a boat neck. Or something. This is so cool. I feel so good. I feel so good. It's like very strange for me to really be feeling myself, but I'm like, I look great. This is amazing. I love all of the sort of ruched detailing here. Like see how it's all bunched. I could go out and I could eat as many fries as I want to and not worry about my tight dress. It kind of disguises any lumps and bumps. So we've got this little tie here that actually runs all the way up through here. So the tighter that you pull this, you can kind of make it go shorter on the leg. It's doing me so many favors. I love it. I actually, I love it. I love it. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> okay, oh, by the way, I, f I forgot. This just reminded me, because I was like, I can't wait to take a selfie wearing this. But that reminds me, I'm gonna be putting uh, this picture that I, I haven't taken this photo yet, but whatever this photo ends up being, it's going to be a photo of me wearing this dress. That's going to be on my Instagram and I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to be giving away four $250 White Fox vouchers. So head over to that post and uh, you'll see all of the instructions and everything in the post about how to enter the giveaway. But I, I've been thinking to myself, I was like, when I have to make the post about the giveaway, what am I going to wear? This. I'm going to wear this. This is... Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. And with my hair too, because my hair's half pink, half purple. And you've got the pink here. And oh, I love it. I love it so much. And yet another dress that I love that I wore in the video where I dyed my hair half pink, half purple. This is the Living Free mini dress in the shade Periwinkle. This is so cute. It's got this adorable little acrylic-y plastic hoop detail here and people loved this one too now yes guilty as charged this doesn't quite fall into the fall category this is just a nice dress both of these dresses actually <laughs> they're not really appropriate for cooler weather but I, I had to get them I just I had to chuck them in here somewhere I mean just wear a coat and some pants over the top oh that's something I didn't do now it's fall ready the, the, now the dress is appropriate for a fall clothing haul. And let's do the same thing with this. So the weather's cooling off and you need to pull out your winter wardrobe. Uh, no, you don't. No, no. You can keep the wardrobe that you have. Just add a cardigan and pants. This suddenly, it goes from being a mini dress that is very cold and you can't wear it in 43 degree Fahrenheit weather. Well, with the pants and the cardigan you can. But then let's say, you know, you, you go through winter uh, and you're coming out into the warmer weather. And you're like, yep. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep wearing my dress. You just, uh, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo. it's springtime now. Still a little bit of a nip in the air sometimes. Cardigan, perfect, perfect. Cause your legs, they're fine. They don't, they don't get that cold. But your arms, your arms get cold. So your cardigan keeps you warm. And then it's coming into summer now. You don't need the cardigan anymore. You're ready for a hot girl summer and you will have one in this dress. This is like the epitome of partying by the pool in summer to me. This kind of reminds me of uh, like when I was a kid almost. We had similar styles to this in the 90s and uh, it's kind of like a, a modern, more adult take on those styles. And I just love the little clip. It's got the little cutout detail here. The color is just so beautiful and the pink, the, the tone of pink is this cool toned pink and it matches really nicely with the periwinkle and I love this dress. This is an $80 dress and I think it's worth every single cent. It's so cute, I love it. Now here's another item I got because of Lucy. Lucy tried on this dress in her video and she looked a million dollars. She looked so good. So I had to, I had to get it too. This is the 
Easy Does It Maxi Dress in Sage, and it's a $70 dress, and the model looks incredible. And I do wish I had my natural long red hair at this point, because I can just imagine how nice it would look with this. So let's see how my new hair suits it. All right, so I almost caused myself a great deal of embarrassment just then, because I put it on and I was like, look at these excessively long straps. This is like a situation where if a friend of yours falls and they're dangling off a cliff, you could be like, don't worry, I can save you here. I was like, why are they so weirdly long? And I was standing here trying to tie a bow. I was like feeding this stupidly long thing through trying to tie a bow. I consulted the photos and it looks as though you just wrap yourself many, many times. So it kind of creates like a belt. This is a beautiful dress. The color's so beautiful and it's this really interesting fabric. It's, it's thick and it's very stretchy and it's also like a little bit shiny. You see how it kind of shines in the light? It's really interesting. I really like the length of it. We've got the big slit in the side. Now, as far as making this appropriate for fall, uh, my only suggestion is not really a proper suggestion at all. It's just me half-assing it and just showing you another long sleeve top that I got. This is the Don't Stop Me Now sweater in Nude, and this is a $90 sweater. It's super, super chunky knit. And no, I probably wouldn't actually wear this sweater with this dress. Uh, I, I don't think that this would be an outfit, would it? Hang on, let me look in the mirror. You know what? I take that back. I would totally just keep this in my car and just chuck it on over the top of quite literally anything if I was getting cold. This is stupid soft, stupid soft. Like, I, <laughs> this is probably one of the softest things I own. This is ridiculous. What is this made of? This is 100% acrylic. I mean, if someone said to me, here, enjoy your cashmere sweater, I would be like, Thank you very much. I like cashmere. This is beautiful cashmere. <laughs> Look how long the sleeves are. They're so oversized. They're so long. As far as wearing something like this with a dress, I can just sort of tuck this into this little belt here and just let it drape. You know what? Some of you might hate it as an outfit. It wasn't intended to be an outfit. Would I wear it? Yes. The longer that I look at this outfit, the more I like it. I think that the dress is glorious, but also because it's so tight, I would 100% be far more inclined to wear it as an individual thing. So like I'd be more likely to wear it as though it were a skirt with something over it than I would be to wear it as a dress, just because it's so tight. It's such a super extremely tight bodycon dress that I'm like, Ugh, you can see everything. But you chuck one of these over and easy, easy. Take me to a buffet. Do it. And now for something that I do not anticipate that I will be comfortable in. This is the Don't Fall For It Maxi Dress in Steel. And this is another one of those uh, little bit risky pieces. Every time I do a haul video, I like to chuck in something. One or two things that might just surprise me that I wouldn't normally go for. And this is the second one that fits into that category. So that that's like a crop top. Like if you look at that, that's a little crop top, but then it's attached here and comes down and then we've got this enormous skirt. This is a very similar fabric to the dress that I'm wearing except this one has two layers of the fabric. So when you... no? No it doesn't. No it's just really heavy. It's just really really thick and heavy. <laughs> this is like even heavier than that big brown jacket that I showed you earlier. There's a lot of material here and I, I think that I'm probably more likely to like this one because it, it looks like this little top should contain me, hopefully. This is so nice. I thought it was the same material as the Sage one, but actually it does feel thicker. Oh, hang on a second. What? Am I wearing this wrong? Is my body supposed to be? What is ha- what? Hang on. It does have a double layer of fabric, like all the way around. Where does this go? Where does this layer of fabric go? Is there a portal in here? Can I just say, never in my life have I felt more like the princess from Atlantis. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorite dresses that I own. This is insanely cool. I love that it's, it's simple, but it's also very unique. Yes, it's just a, a simple dress, like it's just the one colour, but the interesting details, like the way that this sort of curves here, and oh my god, oh, wow, kind of feel like this should have been the, the one that I wore for the giveaway photo. This is quite literally one of the coolest dresses ever. I'm obsessed.
I didn't think I'd look this good in it. I saw the model and I was like, wow, she looks nice. I hope I look something like that wearing it. I look amazing. I look amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> How do I make this fall appropriate? This is now fall clothing. <laughs> oh my God. This is my favorite thing. I think this is my favorite thing. Although there's been so many things that could possibly have been my favorite thing. There's been so many amazing things in this video. I love white fox. I love white fox so much. If you guys want to get anything from today's video, use the code pretty pastel for 15% off. And I promise you will love everything you get. There's nothing aside from the awkward shorts. There's nothing that I'm not like ridiculously impressed by. Oh my goodness. So guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked today's video. I loved it. I loved everything. Maybe I could do a video where it's like, I let my subscribers pick my white fox haul. Uh, actually, yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds very fun. So leave any items that you'd like to see me review in the comment section down below. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!